solve each equation for n or r. Okay, number one, permutation of n taken 3 at a time equals 60. So, we are going to find the value of n. Okay, so, isulat muna natin yung ating mga given value dito. So, yung p of n taken r at a time is equal to 60. At yung ating r naman is equal to 3. Gagamitin naman natin ngayon yung ating formula na p, uh, p of n taken r at a time equals n factorial over quantity of n minus 3 a minus r factorial. R pa pala tayo. Okay, dumiretsyo na ako. So, this is r factorial. Then, substitute natin yung ating mga given value dito sa ating formula. So, yung p of n taken r at a time is equal to 60 equals yung ating n yan yung nawawala n factorial over quantity of n minus yung ating r is 3 quantity of n minus 3 factorial okay yung n factorial dito i-expand natin siya okay so i-rewrite natin yung ating n factorial with a factor quantity of n minus 3 factorial Okay, i -re rewrite natin yung n factorial with a factor quantity of n minus 3 factorial. So, magiging ganito yun. 60 equals n times quantity of n minus 1 times quantity of n minus 2 times quantity of n minus 3 factorial. Okay, ayan. As you can see, hanggang kay n minus 3 factorial tayo. So, pwede na natin i-cancel yung quantity of, quantity of n minus 3 factorial. So, maka-cancel na yan. So, ang matitira na lang dito is 60 equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Okay, so use logical reasoning to find the three consecutive numbers whose product is 60. Okay, so yung, uh, the perfect cube na 64 is close to 60, di ba? Yung 64 na perfect cube is close to 60. And that is 4 times 4 times 4. Okay? So, try three consecutive numbers with 4 as the middle number. Three consecutive numbers na kung saan yung gitna natin ay 4. Okay, so yan ay 5 times 4 times 3, right? Okay, then kapag minultiply mo yan, that is equal to 60. Okay, so therefore, itong n natin dito, diba that is 60, equals yung n is 5, yung n minus 1 dito ay 4, at yung n minus 2 ay 3. Okay, so therefore, the value of n is equal to 5. Yan yung value ni n, 5. Okay, number 2. Permutation of 6 taken r at a time equals 30. So, dito, yung ating given naman is yung ating p of n taken r at a time is equal to 30. At yung ating r is anong yun yung ating hahanapin? Yung n natin dito ay 6. Okay? So, again, gagamitin ulit natin yung ating formula. So, p of n taken r at a time equals n factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial. So, i-substitute natin yung ating mga given value dito. So, yung p of n taken r at the time is 30 equals yung ating n which is 6. So, ito ay 6 factorial over 6 minus r factorial. Quantity of 
uh, 6 minus r factorial. Okay, then simplify. Uh, 6 factorial is equal to 720. Right? Okay, so 30 is equal to 720 over quantity of uh, 6 minus r factorial. Okay, and then, i-cross multiply natin ito. Okay, so we cross multiply. So, ito ay magiging uh, 6 cross multiply tayo. So, magiging quantity of 6, 30 muna, 30 times quantity of 6 minus r factorial equals 720. And then, I-divide both sides natin by 30. Divide both sides by 30. So, cancel yung 30 dito sa left-hand side ng ating equation. So, ang matitira na lang ay quantity of 6 okay, quantity of 6 minus 3 minus r factorial equals 720 divided by 30. And 720 divided by 30 is equal to, so ito ay magiging quanti uh, quantity of 6 minus r factorial equals 24. Kasi 720 divided by 30 is 24. And then, Yung 24 is equal to 4 factorial, right? So, ito ay magiging 6 minus r factorial equals 4 factorial. Yung 24 is equal to 4 factorial. So, dito, i-divide both sides natin siya ng factorial. Yung factorial natin, i-divide both sides natin yan para matanggal yung ating factorial. Okay, so tanggal na yung factorial dyan. Cancel na natin yan. Ang matitira na lang ay 6 minus r equals 4. Okay, so 6 minus r na lang equals 4. Tanggalin na natin yung parenthesis. Okay, tanggalin na natin yung parenthesis dyan. So ang natira na lang dito ay 6 minus r equals 4. And then, yung 6 Ilipat natin dito kay 4 doon sa right hand side ng ating equation. So negative r equals 4 minus 6. So negative r equals negative 2. So i-divide both sides natin yan ng negative 1. Okay, divide both sides by negative 1. So makakancel na yung negative dyan. So that will become r equals positive 2. So, the value of R is 2. Okay? So, sa number 2, ang value ni R ay 2.